It seems like a literal eternity since the Xbox has launched with millions around the world frustrated with short manufacturing, scalpers, and out-of-stock notifications. The wait for the next generation experience has been a long, drawn-out affair. Xbox has quietly been building games and working through delays with staff working from home. So far, the Xbox Series consoles have launched with a few new exclusives, but the true arrival of the Xbox generation is stronger than many could have expected, and it's starting this summer and ending in the holiday in a big way. Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Colt Eastwood. It's been a few days since I've made a video, but over the weekend while I was gone, there were some huge leaks from some trusted insiders that have been talking about new games coming to Xbox, not just soon, but this year, and we're going to talk about them. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content, and let's get into what's coming this year on the Xbox. The Xbox Series S and X have sold millions of consoles already, and most cannot even find or acquire a new Xbox six months into the generation. To get a perspective and proper big picture of what the first year of the Xbox platform looks like, starting this summer, Xbox is launching a large slate of third-party timed and full exclusive games like The Ascent and Warhammer Darktide, and about 20 other games large and small. The first party offering is the real testament of what Xbox Game Studios was established just three years ago to accomplish for the brand. Starting in August or earlier, Xbox is bringing Microsoft Flight Simulator to Xbox Series S and X, and also to the Xbox One consoles. Previously, this has only been playable on capable or, more candidly, beast well-equipped gaming PCs. Flight Simulator uses a combination of demanding graphical features like draw distance, texture filtering, and hungry CPU performance to give a consistent smooth experience flying around the actual planet Earth, powered by photogrammetry translated into real-time Bing Map cloud compute representations of locations around the globe. The Asobo Studio team, partnered with Xbox, has been spending the last year optimizing Flight Simulator for Xbox Series consoles and the older Xbox One. This allows the game to get into more hands by supporting the older Xbox One. Xbox leads behind the scenes have been thoroughly impressed saying that Flight Sim looks incredible at 4K on Xbox Series X. There are rumors from trusted sources that some of the big games coming to Xbox are coming as soon as the end of 2021. And with more information shared on these games, previously we have heard that most games have been delayed for at least three months due to studios working mostly from home. Windows Central Jez Corden has been hinting that a couple of big games for Xbox are slated to arrive on console before the end of the year, and these games have been kept under wraps with not a second of gameplay shown, no screenshots or previews of any kind by official sources. First off, as Xbox has been readying, flighting, and closed beta testing some parts of the next Forza Motorsport game, many assume that Forza is bringing the simulation racer out first. Turns out that trusted leaks have been alight on social media that Playground Games' next game is on Xbox first, Forza Horizon 5, set to release in the fall of 2021. For years, it has been rumored that Forza Horizon 5 was set in Tokyo, but that has been tabled as now sources are sure that the next Horizon game is set in the diverse locale of Mexico, covering warm blue water coastal scenery, Baja, Pacific coastal lowlands, the Mexican plateau, the Sierra Madre Oriental and Occidental, and the Gulf coastal plain and southern highlands and Yucatan Peninsula. Playground games have given the series a full extra year of development, with the last game released in 2018. Forza Horizon needed the extra year to evolve and improve the series, even though Forza Horizon 4 was a 92 rated game. It had some short improvements over one of the world's best open world racers ever made. Forza Horizon 5 in Mexico sounds like a great location and hopefully brings that downtown Mexico City racing that we wanted to see in downtown Tokyo. 
Bethesda has been officially part of the Xbox team for just a couple of months, and the seven studios are all working on their own projects and already have some big games ready to release this year and the next. Todd Howard of Bethesda has been all smiles, talking about the future with his teams and this partnership, but their next biggest game is not Deathloop or Ghostwire Tokyo set timed exclusive on PS5. Todd is excited to show Starfield for E3 2021 and release the brand new spacefaring RPG in the very same year. Bethesda's method is to show a game once it's ready for release that year, and sources are sure that Starfield will be seen and playable in 2021, barring any small delays. The intent is to launch Starfield this year only on the Xbox platform. Another wild card is Wolfenstein 3, but we can only assume we'll see something this year, and it's unclear whether this third new Wolfenstein game will be exclusive to Xbox or not. Of course, Halo Infinite is coming this November in 2021, according to the sources close to 343 Industries, and we should see full feature gameplay this E3 with multiplayer betas rolling out directly afterwards for a massive free-to-play launch on Xbox One Xbox Series consoles, and PC. More early reports and leaks for E3 are coming soon, but won't be covered in this video. Xbox Game Studios has been developing big games for the platform that have been in the works for two to three years and will release in 2022 and 2023. Fable from Playground Games is coming in the next two years and Perfect Dark from The Initiative is coming very soon as well. But many are wondering about Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga shown as early as the end of 2019. This massive thriller third-person action-adventure puzzle-based game from Ninja Theory has been in the works for well over three years. Hellblade 2 is being developed in the brand new Unreal Engine 5 with cutting-edge tech to bring a level of realism only possible with Xbox Series consoles and the powerful cutting-edge PC. Recently, Melina Jurgens, the voice and motion capture actress for Hellblade Senua, has been documenting the transformation as she takes formal combat and sword training to bring the utmost level of realism to Senua's saga. Here she is. Whatever you can do, you can put it in the game. If you can't do it, you won't put it in. I can do a somersault. Hellblade 2's Senua's Saga does not have a set date to release and Ninja Theory is taking the time, all hands on deck, to get it right in every facet and it will be one of the most illustrative, visceral examples of the tech and talent-driven prowess afforded by a world-class conglomerate of studios working with Xbox First Party. Xbox is already impressing critics and fans alike with forward-thinking services and offerings, future-proof tech and more value than any other console gaming platform. And now, it has become abundantly clear that Xbox has more to offer in the games department than the competition, and as long as these games are received well, capture the attention of millions. This generation for Xbox will be excellent for all gamers. 
This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you to all of you who've been supporting the channel in the new format with me on camera. And I really like the connection that I've had with people that I've made content for for the past few years. I also wanted to give my opinion about these new games coming. I know there are 20 to 30 games that deals Xbox has with partnerships, timed exclusive indie games. There's a bunch of games coming, but the big games like Starfield, Halo Infinite, Wolfenstein 3 possibly and Forza Horizon 5 are something that we've talked about for a long time but I keep hearing more and more reinforcement that these games are coming very soon and I'm really excited about them. Like I said before, there are a ton of variables. There are three month delays or even longer for some games. Xbox has actually specifically told their studios that they have three months or more to delay games because of what's gone on over the past year. But there is a whole bunch of totally new information that will be rolling in for E3 2021 in June. I expect to see more of that in the coming weeks. If you ended up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. You can hit the bell to be notified of new weekly content. You can also follow me on Xbox Live and Twitter at Colt Eastwood. People who want to further support the channel, you can join the channel membership below by hitting the join button or you can join the Patreon there. I've got four tiers that will allow you different ways to support the channel, but also get you early access to videos and get you into monthly draws for games, giveaway, and other perks. Check that out. The links are down in the description. But I want to know what you think about Starfield, or do you think that one, among all the others, will most likely be delayed? Personally, I'm disappointed that Forza Horizon is not set in Tokyo. That was a crazy set of rumors that seemed to just keep looking more true and more believable, and there were some pretty credible looking leaks, a whole Tokyo map of the whole entire countryside that looked pretty credible, but we just have to wait and see. But Playground has these games in development for a long time. They have them in planning. So what I'm thinking is that we'll see Tokyo next Forza Horizon 5. That's a long wait, that could be two to three years. So let me know down in the comment section what game you're most excited to see. Watch out for people who came here to troll. There are a few people that don't like Xbox and they just have something to say. So while you're there, please be nice.